Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me, I think, four recipe cards, and I can't really get any of them to work except for this one, and it's kind of okay. Um, I need to go back and read the email, see what they're going to do with it. But you can see how big the bounding box is. I mean, it's way down in here and way up in here. So before I would ever start on something like this, I would select the item, and when you select the item, nothing else uh, will be cropped away and then crop away all this stuff. And I'm not going to, I'm going to take away the Maria and I'm going to just crop it. So that made it less work for Corel and it's over six inches. So we're going to narrow it down, make it smaller. It's a PDF. So I'm going to have to go to bitmaps, convert to, well, let's, you know, let's convert it to a bitmap first. And I'm going to use CMYK and just because it's got a lot of colors in it. And then I'm going to go to bitmap and I'm going to resample. And you can see it's 300 dots per inch because of the fact that we uh, made it smaller. Then I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. You can try, you know, different ones, but just I use uh, clip art quite a bit. And then I'm going to bump up the detail as much as I can. I'm going to take that new copy and put it over there. It doesn't really look too bad, but you can see all the different colors. But if we take it now and go up to object and group and ungroup it, if we take it now and make the fill black, you can see what it does. It, it fills in all those spaces because there's items in those spaces. So if we take a yellow box trick, I'm just going to do this one line for them, kind of show them. I'm going to go to object order, backup page. So you can see the white background. So what we need to do is get rid of that white background. We don't want to turn it black. So I'm just going to click on that background and hit delete. And it helps to have the yellow box because you wouldn't think that there would be any right here, but there is because it's being uh, held up by that. And then like on the mom and inside the zero or the O, and I think we got it all. Now, for the one I'm doing this for, if, there, if you have these recipe cards in your possession, I would take it and scan it again at the highest DPI you can get. So now we're gonna take this one line, and you would have to do that for all the lines, and left-click the fill, because it's all fill, and I would actually right-click the outline. Now, it's not perfect by any means, but you can kind of see what it is. Now, and there's always two trains of thought on this. You know, you're, if this is your mother, if you go in and try to change it, let's make our smoothing tool like 0 0.01. And if you go in and try to change it, it's not really her handwriting anymore. And you could... You know, you could smooth out some of these corners and you can see how many different factors or fragments there are. So let's try this. Let's take all of this and go up to object and combine it. And then when you did that, all the colors should be the same. So we can now take the shape tool and smooth this out a little bit. But you're altering her handwriting. I mean, I know that the vectorization altered it a little bit. And there's actually one more spot that did not combine. So if we take this and look at it as an outline, you can see there's another item there. So we could do this. I would get the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. And then we could smart fill that, uh, this part. There's actually a, what I call a whoop de doo node there, but that'll work. And then just go back and look and see all the different Fragments. I mean, it did combine them, but it's got uh, uh, just fragments in there, and even in there. So I'm going to show you what we could do after we do this. Try to get all the lines. You know, it's going to break them off in fragments. <clears throat> and this is one of those cases you could use the shape tool to uh, kind of do this too. And when you kind of look at the word and Let's just a 
want to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the other word too. And I must not have hit the, the rice. I'm going to no fill the rice. Whoop. So when you ever have that happen, you've got a, a broken node or something. There it is right there. So what you can do in that case is grab the shape tool, click on it, and the nodes pop up, and then you can delete the nodes and not affect the line. Those are That's a broken node right there, as you can see. But it's not going to matter what we're going to do in just a second. We're almost through. Swipe through here. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. That's a whoop de doo node. And, we'll, and then you can decide if you want it on this line. We want it on that line because you wrote it on a line. We're almost through. We're good. And then, you know, before you did anything, you could, you know, there's a double line. Whoop. And they're broken. But that'll work. You could now... Go back to the shape tool, but then again, you need to figure out, I want to make it a little bit bigger, uh, too big. And you could uh, smooth it out a little bit. And I right here, let's take this and swipe through it so it'll all be one piece. Now, when we, well, there's another whoop de doo node. <laughs> a whoop de doo node just a, is a curvature uh, that's going back on itself. That one's not as bad as I thought but we could grab the shape tool and see these are two nodes. So you could actually kind of do this, but you're, you're altering their handwriting. So now let's take the smart fill tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rectangle just in case I get a leak. I did not do the mom. So let's go ahead and do the mom. And if this type of video is not for you, you can just stop watching. But this needs to be, uh, let's see if we can grab all this. You grab the shape tool and grab all these nodes and then go up to windows, dockers, join curves. You've got to set on point one. Hopefully it won't do anything, but that should eliminate when I hit these lines. Um, they should not, you've, you've, you've joined the nodes, so you're not going to, I've got a mess up right there. I'm going to have to fix. We're going to leave that alone. So then you could always just, um, let me delete this one line and then just, you know, take your uh, two point line and I don't really know what that needs to go, but you could take your time. Um, there's a double line if you want it to mimic that line. So I've got a rectangle around it, and that's probably the that's probably the O. Um, so let's look at it first. Let's take the smart fill tool, set it on black, and fill that in. So we've got a a leak because of that right in here. So what we can do is take the shape tool. Let's just put that up there for right now. So that'll and also hit double lines. That should stop the leak. So that might even be the O part. That's a, I'm doing a poor job on that. Um, see, those aren't connected. That's not connected. We could delete that line now that we've got them connected. And let's see what the other part looks like. My rectangle tool stopped I guess I didn't do the chicken either, but see my rectangle tool stopped the uh, smart fill from getting in the places. I'm not helping this person very much. Um, uh, some, some handwriting just won't work, but that would engrave and it would be a little rough, but uh, it might be acceptable. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.